musicians too. Yeah. Like I thought, I thought he nailed it. Like I just thought he had the visuals. Like it was an audio visual presentation as well. Made fun of himself with the fanny pack. Like he, I, I just thought he blurred the lines so good because again, even though he's heel rock and he keeps, you know, cutting these social media promos about how he's the cool heel and all, like nobody actually wants to boo the rock. Like even when he made fun of John Morant, like people were like, Oh, but then they laughed at the very next line. Like they just don't want to boo the rock wherever he goes. And I thought again, the rock concerts, I'm glad they brought it back. I thought he knocked it out of the park. And shout out to the Moana line at the end. I'm a big fan of that. Oh yeah. That yeah. was tremendous. Yes. So when I watched that, obviously we enjoyed it because it's the rock. Yeah. He didn't have to have the guitar. He already had the, the, guy with the harmonica. He didn't need to have it. He just did the singing. He just did the lines. Right. But what that told me is that there are two rocks. That's what I think. I think it's the rock that does business with the family. And he's, he's all, is totally anti Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. And he's doing it for the bloodline. But everything else is babyface rock. Every bit of it. Now think about it. He's been he's running downtowns, you know, uh, night after night, every time he's on television. But somehow, some way, he gets to Memphis and goes, oh, remember when I was Flex Cavana? I was on <laughs> Channel 5 in Memphis. Yeah, okay. And this is where I start. So I can't run down Memphis because this is home. Bullshit. It ain't home. <laughs> Wait, so I think so. LA, Miami, yes. Memphis. We're just adding up like the lists of places that are home for The Rock. I've been in person plenty of times and heard The Rock use that home line down here in South Florida. Like, wait, wait a minute now. <laughs> he's, he's home in Miami. Uh, I could have swore his old man was in Allentown, Pennsylvania for TVs. He was in Portland wrestling, so is Portland home too? Allentown, Pennsylvania is that home too? Like, like wherever Rocky was in the territory, that's where Rock was. So let me just say, here's a guy clearly that does not want to be booed. But but I see two rocks: the rock that's on social media, the guy that's that is absolutely tearing up Cody Rhodes. I mean. Classic stuff, stuff you can't say on TV, he's doing on social media. Then you get PG rock in some ways, PG-13 rock. PG-13 rock. Yeah, PG-13 rock, and being able to do what he's doing on TV. To me, as far as business, there is the rock that's really anti-Cody, going after his mom and everything else, going after Seth Rollins and all that. But all the other time, the rock that we saw in Memphis, that's the guy that he was when we first saw him in January. That's the guy he wants to be, but he has to be – this character because of the bloodline and also to the reports of wrestlers being upset with the rock and how he's able to cross that line he's able to curse on social be as entertaining as the rock and then you get some of those liberties where you can do whatever the hell you want yeah like come on man like we, we everybody <laughs> knows that there are different sets of rules for yes. different people if you're Dwayne Johnson and you show up to WWE, like, guess what? Rules don't apply. He right. goes over his TV time. He yes. gets to do all these things because, well, I mean, he was part of this. He built it up, left, wants to come back. People are loving it. His TV segments are the ones that are most rated. So if you're ticked off about that, like, like this is just the way the world works, man. Like, it works in radio. Like, the, the rules for my co-hosts are different than the rules for me. And I'm fine with it. That's the way it is. Chewy can do things on Jen, Gabe, and Chewy that I can't do. And that's the way it should be. Uh, who has that upper hand on this show? I don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, uh, I don't think we can do any of the things that he yeah. does. Again, anytime he swears on the show, I get yelled at. So that's <laughs> that's the way it works. I assume on this show it's you because you hit teammates. You slap them. So. I, yes, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I don't – and I don't want any piece of you. So that's fine. Stay, so. stay tuned. I may be slapping – or some the same teammate may, may be getting slapped again here wow, coming up okay. soon. It's about that time of year. <laughs> what the hell is that? He's willing to get slapped for charity. Who am I to say no if I'm raising money? Okay, let, let's stop hitting people, okay? Get, <laughs> <laughs> let's stop. Let's stop hitting people. I can't. Hey, again, if the price is right for the MAC fund, like, I can't. You know, I can't make any promises. I don't intend to keep here, Jay. Hood. Well, I, 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 and by the way, if it, it, like you're saying, Brian, if um, if there are wrestlers belly aching about the Rock. Uh, they probably should see his resume, not yeah. just WWE, but also as the final boss in TKO. He can yeah. do whatever he wants. This 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 whole WWE thing is more UFC now than it ever has. Sure. As far or as even the simple go down the street and ask someone if they know who Dwayne Johnson and The Rock is, and ninety five percent of people will say yes. 
which how many WWE superstars can you say that about right now? Uh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I, I can't imagine who's at, like, I can't imagine anybody who's on this WrestleMania card is upset by this. Like, right. Everybody understands how this works. Or at least uh, they should. Is Grayson Waller on the card? He <laughs> <laughs> he Maybe he's the one. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> 